in these problems, we are multiplying binomials. And a binomial is just something that has two terms. So here we have a 3 and a 2y added together. That's a binomial. And we're multiplying that by a 7 plus 2y, another binomial. When we multiply binomials, typically we follow FOIL. It's just a guide to help us remember to multiply all the pieces together that we need to. It stands for multiplying the first terms, then the outside terms, and the inside terms, and then the last terms. So let's see how that goes with this first one. Here are the first terms, the 3 and the 7. So I multiply 3 times 7. That's 21. The outside terms are the 3 and the 2y. So I need to multiply apply that. 3 times 2y. Well, we multiply the number part and stick the y on it. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's plus 6y. Next, the inside terms. That's this one and this one. 2y times 7, that would be 14y. And then finally, the last terms are the 2y and the 2y. Well, let's do the number part. 2 times 2 is 4. And y times y is y squared. All right, so that's the result of all our multiplication. Now we just need to add the like terms. And I have a 6y and a 14y. Add those together, you get 20y. And then I think I'm going to write this in descending power order. So we'll start with the highest uh, exponent term first. So this would be 4y squared plus 20y plus 21. All right, let's try another just for practice. So the first terms, 4b times 4b, 4 times 4 is 16, b times b is b squared. Now your outside terms, 4b times a negative 7. We've got to be careful of signs on this one. Uh, so that is minus 28b. And then our inside terms, negative 3 times 4, that's minus 12b. And our last terms, a negative 3 times a negative 7, a negative times a negative is a positive, so that's plus 21. Now, we need to combine like terms, a negative 28 and a negative 12. That's going to be a negative 40b. And then we have our 16b squared and our plus 21. And that's as simple as it can get. So that is how to multiply binomials.